All right. So for those of you who don't know, basically this is what happened. My birthday, November 24th, 1983. Yes, I'm 35. My birthday, we had the party at a strip club in Los Angeles. And, you know, I was going through inviting all kinds of different people that I'm close friends with and everything. And uh, I just thought to myself, like, yo, I should invite Snow the product because I had just done the interview with her, which I thought went really, really well. Uh, You should check that out. Snow the product, no jumper interview. And I was just thinking, like, you know, Snow's cool as fuck. She would be a cool person for us to be friends with. I'm definitely going to invite her to the birthday party. So I hit her up, invited her, told her bring her girlfriend. She was like, all right, cool, definitely. Um, She comes through. She was having a good time. Everything was great. We are all having a good time. Uh, Her girlfriend was there. Everybody, you know, doing the usual strip club thing. They are dating. So, you know, I could understand how that would be a little bit more complicated if you're a – in a lesbian relationship, you know, you're at a strip club, you're full, it's full of naked girls, whatever. I'm sure it's complicated for all kinds of people in all kinds of relationships, but I don't believe that they had any real issues. And either way, I definitely wasn't like paying attention to what was going on between people and whatnot. And I believe at some point during the night, Tana Manju, Mongu, whatever the fuck you want to say, she said, sure, she like, you know, fanned out on snow to whatever extent. It was basically just like showing her love, right? So then. We go to hop in the Uber SUV to leave the party. At this point, I'm largely blacked out. We had been drinking very, very heavily. We had like four bottles of Hennessy in the strip club that we were all just like smashing through. So we were fucked up, to to be real. We were fucked up. So whatever. At some point, as I understand it, and either I wasn't there for this because I think they were waiting for for me to hop into the Uber before we left. And I think I was still in the club. But either way, I didn't see it. But allegedly, Snow the Product's girlfriend, Gigi, who you can see right here in the thumbnail all the way to the left, she in some way hit Tana, grabbed her by the hair, freaked the fuck out on her, smacked her. I don't know exactly what happened because I wasn't exactly paying attention. But basically, Tana ended up, I believe, going back to the Airbnb with us. But Snow the Product and her girlfriend didn't. They felt uncomfortable after this. Now, Tana, you know, and and my understanding of it from listening to my girlfriend and the other girls who were in the SUV tell me about what happened is that basically Tana was getting a little bit too aggressive with uh, letting Snow know that she was a big fan of her. She was basically like hitting on her too hard, but, you know, hitting on her in a way where maybe being a little bit too aggressive. Tana is like that. Tana is the total type if there's a girl that she thinks is pretty or cool or whatever she will like fan out like act so ridiculously over the top into the person that there's just like no way that you know to me it's totally understandable because this is just tana she acts crazy she's silly she's funny she goes everybody like at this point like in my world knows who she is and stuff so everybody expects her to act like tana and be super over the top with everything whatever um apparently snow's girlfriend is not really a big fan of like other girls touching on her and stuff she's a little bit more likely to uh, take offense to that kind of thing so she laid hands on her which is wrong you know nobody should be laying hands on anybody but i mean after all was said and done i think we can like kind of understand where both sides were coming from and well i mean tana was obviously just being nice in her mind she was just being nice and Gigi was just trying to defend her girlfriend whatever so I didn't think much of it. Again, I was very, very drunk. But so we hop in the SUV. We go back to the house. It was a party. It was a good time. Then, like literally maybe two days later, Tana posts a half-hour video called, you know, this rapper's girlfriend tried to beat me up, which is just so Tana, to make a fucking 30-minute video out of a fucking encounter that probably nobody should have made a video about in the first place. Like if, if that was me, if, like, somebody I was friends with or, or somebody, you know, grabbed Lena's hair and started a fight with her, but it was just over immediately, I wouldn't make a video talking about it because it's, like, there wasn't really that much to talk about. But Tana is, as you guys all know, if you've seen her videos, she's the queen of making a really long piece of content out of nothingness, you know, something that basically was nothing. So uh, Tana makes that video. Snow, I think, at first was, like, kind of bummed because she hit me up and was like, so this is your friend friend? <laughs> I think that's actually what Snow texted me. And I was like, yeah, that's the homie. But uh, I agree. It's kind of ridiculous that there's a half-hour storytime video about this. But this is the cool thing. 
when I did that interview with Tana, which you guys can also go find if you search Tana uh, No Jumper interview, I was telling her, I was giving her my advice. I'm like, Tana, you have built a gigantic platform for yourself, right? But this is the thing. Your whole platform is about yourself. I think you need to branch your platform out and just make content that will glorify other women in the culture. And I'm, I was telling her, I'm like, you have an opportunity. You should go. You should meet Rico Nasty. I can introduce you to Rico Nasty, Tana. And you should like make a video with Rico Nasty because Rico Nasty is like a really super genuinely dope female rapper. And you could gain a lot, I think, by making a video with her where you show what a cool person she is. Obviously, it would help her. You know, all your fans would then want to fuck with Rico. Would probably go listen to her music on streaming stuff, follow her, whatever. So Rico would be happy. You'd have an advocate on your behalf. Um, and then you would like make, make some good content because if you make a video with somebody realistically, it's probably still going to get like a million plus views. And then you would like, I, I was telling her this in part because, you know, Tana has had image issues. And I think that if she were to go out and like really sort of start to make herself known as a person who a big part of what she does is help out other women who are up and coming creators. I was like, you know, cause basically I'm telling, I was telling Tana, like do what I kind of do it was like help people out. And that will help you to build like a name for yourself. Like for me, my whole career, my whole name has basically been based on me being early on doing content with people like Load Pump X, et cetera. And so I gave her that advice. And uh, I don't believe that she took that advice. Not that I know of, which is totally fine. She doesn't have to take my advice. But I think that that would be a really good use of her platform. The irony is that Snow the Product took to i guess this is her third uh youtube channel because she has like other channels where she posts her actual music and stuff she created this third channel just to post this one vlog that you guys can see right there that says what really happened the tana manju fight and it got 1.2 million views her next video right there half a million views her next video right there hard to say because it only came out 11 minutes ago um but she has almost 100,000 subscribers on here now, for, for those who don't know, Snow the Product is already, like, a respected, you know, artist. Like, people already fuck with her musically. If you were to look up all of her songs and everything, they all have millions of plays. She totally does fine for herself, regardless of having to, you know, do anything as, like, a YouTuber or a vlogger or anything. But, like, that advice that I gave Tana basically came true, even though she didn't actually, like, do anything. Like, she somehow ended up in a situation where she kind of put snow on because snow felt the need to make this response video and then it did ridiculously well and i was texting snow the other day and i'm like you are so a youtuber now huh and she was like yeah honestly i'm kind of hyped on it i guess she has her brother uh, editing these videos for her um which i could tell i could tell that somebody good was editing them but either way it's like people are really really fucking with snow and if you read the comments people i think really really like these videos that she's been doing um, and as you can tell, like the new one is getting away from, you know, the first two videos were basically about the Tana thing, but now she's branching out and doing more, which I think is fucking amazing because snow really does have like a dope ass personality. And this is my thing about her is that she's almost like an anti Tana. Like I love Tana, but a lot of people, what are the criticisms that people have about Tana? She's fake. She exaggerates. Um, she's white. You know, those are probably like, you know, not, not the white thing. I don't think anybody cares that much that she's white. But Snow is kind of the opposite where she's Latino. She's in this like really cute girl-on-girl uh, -girl relationship. She's like, people think Tana's not talented. Snow, like anybody you ask, everybody's going to be like, she's really talented. Like she's a really good uh, rapper. So basically like Tana by accident, by happenstance, I believe is the word, uh, she ended up like basically empowering a female creator who has probably like a pretty different audience than Tana for a lot of purposes. But I mean, she has a hundred thousand subscribers on this account in less than a week. That's pretty amazing. So I think that's really incredible. This is like, and, and this is the thing for people who don't know snow said during her no jumper interview that she basically got dropped by her label recently. And I've dealt with labels. I kind of understand the whole label situation and it's unfortunate, but I know what kind of conversations the label was probably having about snow, which is basically just issues of like them not knowing how to market her because labels are stupid. And 
anyone with any kind of like complexity, a lot of times they have a hard time like understanding or if there's not already like an obvious example of what that person is supposed to be like, it can be hard for the label to wrap their heads around how to market them. And I can understand that from the label's perspective. Snow is not like, okay, she, she's different, like, you know, in terms of her sexiness. Like, she's not a Nicki Minaj or a Cardi B. She's very pretty, but she's not, you know, she has a different kind of energy. And, you know, she's outwardly in a girl, a female relationship, you know, that's a little bit different for the labels to deal with. She's, like Hispanic and she raps in fucking Spanish a lot. You know, that, that's like another thing that the labels, I think she's like really like authentically Mexican as fuck and like really shows it in her music a lot and stuff. So these are all things that I think maybe the label didn't know how to wrap their heads around or just didn't want to wrap their heads around because again, labels are not only stupid, they're also lazy. Um, but I love the fact that this whole fucking stupid ass Tana situation that really shouldn't have even happened in the first place, like realistically, Tana probably shouldn't have made that video and I mean Snow responding is fine but you know Tana making the video was sort of just like a silly thing but I feel like it's pretty fucking dope because I really think that Snow this is kind of what her career needs too is she needs like a really dope way to just communicate with people outside of maybe her usual like social media stuff obviously she does fine on Instagram and stuff like that but it's just like YouTube is such an intimate way to get to know somebody and especially in her career right now where she's between labels and everything and even just having the conversation with her on the stream or on the podcast it was like I could just tell that she you know isn't even like 100 percent sure what she wants to do in her career because sometimes she feels like damn I'm out here wrapping my ass off and making like objectively good music and sometimes it feels like people don't respond the way that she would want them to respond, et cetera, et cetera. Obviously, every fucking artist has that problem. They want everybody to love them and not everybody loves them. But with Snow, in her case, it's like there clearly is like a rising demand for female rappers. And like labels are signing up female rappers like crazy. But then meanwhile, Snow is without a label at this moment, which is really unfortunate. But either way, I just wanted to point out that I really think that Snow is like an awesome vlogger. I'm subscribed to the channel, as you can see. And I just think that the fact that this all came about due to the Tana thing is like, it's just, it's insane. It's kind of amazing. And I just really, really like hope that Snow sticks with it. And I hope that all you guys watching this go and at least watch her videos and hopefully like subscribe and stuff too, because I just think this is like really dope. Like she's like, and what I was saying before, all those things that, I forgot to finish my point, as I often do. But the, all those things that I listed off that would make her sort of a challenge marketing-wise to a lot of labels stand out to me as things that make her a really fucking awesome vlogger. Because the truth is, is that when it comes to vlogs, there needs to be like more representation in the sort of YouTube vlogging space. Like I think people, and not that there needs to be, just there needs to be diversity. But I think people genuinely want that stuff because Snow represents like a very different type of woman than what Tana is. And I think that the fact that she's putting herself out here like this and that she's like being pretty successful says a lot that like the 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 YouTube viewing population wants to hear from different voices. And that's why I think it's so dope. It's just Snow is like a totally different type of uh vlogger than or youtube or whatever i guess she's not really like vlogging per se but i did see that she was about to go on vacation with her girl and they were talking about doing vlogs on vacation which i would definitely watch as well anyway that's my version of this event these events this whole little story uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed this uh check out nojumper.com subscribe to my channel and uh go subscribe to snow everyday days i guess i'll throw a link in the description appreciate you guys peace